I'm gonna have my first gynecologist appointment. Take your pants off and your panties off and then put on this. This is your clitoris. I was like, I know my pretty area. Means. So, this is what's gonna happen today. Today, I'm gonna tell you about the time I got my coochie check for the first time. And this is this video. And hopefully this video will help you or someone you know that's really nervous about getting their hoo-ha check for the first time. And you're like, oh my god, this girl did the same thing, you know? Sharing life experiences is good. Why did I do that? So let's get started. If you haven't gone to a vagina doctor yet, I will be, I will go first as an experiment for you. Just, just, all for you. And then I will, I'll, I'll show, I'll, I'm not gonna show anything. One, two, uh, they don't like each other. Oh God, okay. Well, I was really nervous about what I was gonna wear for some reason. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna wear. Like, do I go all pink? Like, do I embrace the coochie, the coochie vibes? And be like, yeah, I guess what I'm here for. She's like, I know, I'm a doctor. Okay, because of COVID, only one of us can go up there. So my mom's going first so she can be like, hi, because she knows the doctor. So yeah, now I have to stay here in the middle of Lisbon, talking to myself against this wall, just looking normal and trying not to get any attention to me. I'm waiting for my mommy and try not to die of anxiety, so yeah, yeah I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, guys, I'm gonna squat. I squatted, so I'm squatted, squatted in the middle of the street. Just getting ready to spread my leg. <laughs> five minutes, five minutes, five, five, five minutes and it's me. <laughs> I don't want someone to examine my coochie. Oh god, oh my god. This elevator is so small. There's so much turbulence. If I die? Yes. If I die. Here I am inside, guys, I'm freaking out. I have no idea what's gonna happen in there. Like, my mom's still in there, I'm just waiting and I'm freaking I keep looking at this TV, I keep looking at the time, and you can tell I was getting pretty damn nervous. Like, I am completely terrified at this point. I'm just waiting for someone to call my name, and everything is running through my head right now. Yeah, but then it was fine. I got out. Safely. So. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed me talking about it. So, enjoy. <laughs> Everything was fine. So basically, if you have never been to a gynecologist, um, I went yesterday and I'm gonna tell you how it was, what happened, and um, hopefully give you some information that you don't know that might help you in the future. You should go to a gynecologist because it's important and you should check on your health because it's important. And that's what I did, basically. I would suggest, first of all, to get someone who you trust, maybe ask a parent or a friend who have been before if they know someone who they trust, who they feel comfortable with, because that's basically what I did. I talked to my mom and I said, mom, I'm 21. I think um, I should go to a gynecologist. I think I should get my coochie check. I'm gonna give you the rundown of how things work. You go in there and for me the lady was extremely nice she was she made me really comfortable excuse me I sat down and she was like hi welcome and i was like huh? <laughs> what's up um and she was like okay what brings you here today so i told her a bunch of my concerns and i made sure i had as many questions as i possibly could have to ask her because she's a professional definitely Prepare some questions or any concerns you ever had, um, I would, yes. Oh, this tea is strong! <sighs> is that okay? 
yeah, I'm just gonna take it out. Then she was like, okay, let's, you know, let's check your coochie. And I was like, mm -hmm. I was extremely nervous. I was like, that's my no-no area, you know, like, what you wanna do? She was like, okay, so there's this like magic square over here and you're just gonna take your pants off and your panties off and then put on this little apron that has no back so your booty's exposed and then you're gonna put these little feet things on your socks like on top of your socks and you're gonna sit down on this chair and i was like i can do that i can put on a backless apron and sit on a chair yeah it's totally totally normal I was like okay i'm here i'm sitting down and then she was like okay now what you're gonna do is sit right close like like you feel like you're almost falling off and i was like okay so i was just sitting with my butt out of my chair and she was like now we're gonna put our legs up and i was like okay so at that point i was very exposed and the best thing about it was that she has a camera so you're actually seeing everything that she's doing your checking and she's she she walks you through every step it's like high definition coochie time coochie tv like it's great it's a great time yeah so i was just up there legs going like this i was like i cannot have a child i cannot be in this position pushing a head out of my jj like no no thanks here's the thing for me i have my hymen still intact which means a lot of the more normal procedures that um they usually do in the, in a gynecologist they have like this little spatula thing spatula that looks like a duck that can like that opens you up and like i didn't do that what she did was just check out the outside area she went there with a q-tip and i was just like oh god i could see the q-tip coming closer to my hoo-ha and i was like she's gonna touch it it's gonna feel so weird but then it didn't and i was like oh that's kind of soft because it's a q-tip it's soft so yeah she just was like so this is your hymen over here and this is your clitoris. I was like, I know my coochie area, miss. What you doing? What you what you trying to teach me? I know my coochie. That's pretty much what they do. So if you do have your hymen intact, it's a very very chill appointment. Um, and if you don't, I've heard from people that it's actually very chill as well. But I feel like that depends on the person and everything else. So yeah, that's the coochie part my hoo-ha part and then she was like okay now we're just gonna lay on this table and you're gonna take your top off and i was like okay so basically what she does is she's just gonna check your chest area she's gonna look for any bumps or anything like that and not wanting to brag here but i found out that me and harry Styles have a lot more in common than i thought because i have a third nipple Fred, get your money man like those no, are I'm hopeful. Hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it kind of like amazing it's super tiny i've always thought it was a freckle because i have tons of freckles on my body and everywhere so i just assumed it was just another freckle because it's so fucking tiny and she was like oh this is an accessory nipple and i was like a what now like no problem she actually said that in english which was so cute she's like no problem it's totally fine it's it doesn't do anything and if you ever breastfeed or something it's not gonna do anything it's just an accessory it's like a third nipple and i was like i don't know why i got so excited about that i don't know why it made me so happy because i think it's so fucking cool and i was like okay cool fuck yeah 50 percent more nipple like fuck yeah going to this appointment really gave me a peace of mind in a way because there were so many concerns that i had that all of a sudden were answered and i was like okay there's like nothing wrong okay so at the end she asked you to get dressed take your time feel comfortable that was the best part i totally felt comfortable throughout the whole thing for me she asked for some blood work some hormone blood work as well for um ultrasound and it's called the above i might be wrong above the pubic area ultrasound that's kind of how she said it um well it's basically you know the ultrasound you do just to check everything and you go like here and stuff well it's not on my stomach but like down lower just to check 
uh, because yeah, uh, to check on my ovaries and my uterus. I was really happy at the end because it was not as scary as I thought. So bottom line is I just really wanted to share this experience. I hope this video helps you in any way. If you have any questions that I might be able to answer, let me know. And if you're concerned about your coochie, get it checked. It's totally okay to be very nervous. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I helped. I hope this video helps you in any way possible. And thank you for watching this video. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Coochie check. Coochie, get it, um, coochie tag, take two. I think you should get your coochie tagged. Um, thank God for my hymen being intact. Oh my God, thank Jesus for being a virgin. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah.